Good afternoon, good afternoon. I'm just logged in a couple of moments early. I'm going to give it till 1230 and we're going to get started. I hope that you are having a beautiful day today. Um, if you haven't already, please be sure to like our Facebook page, which is Blanks to Go. Um, check out our website at www.blankstogo.com. Um, we actually have a Facebook group. Not super busy yet, but slowly but surely growing. Um, and that's Blanks to Go Sublimation Group. You can also find me on YouTube, Blanks to Go. And I'm constantly just sharing different um, videos or different techniques on doing things and upload them there for you guys to see and either work on the project or see how I did on a project. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But yeah, I got all my things set up. I'm excited for this. Um, the actual finished, we'll finish the balloon today. But everything that I plan on doing with it, it won't be finished just yet. But I'm putting some stuff together for my granddaughter. She's graduating kindergarten. So I want to <clears throat> start putting something together for her for her first graduation. Yay! Alrighty, it is 12.30, and let us begin. Because if I haven't learned anything, I used to work with um, saxophone player Sean Rayford, and he always taught us that the show started on time. So, here we go. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do the printable balloons. Uh, the other day I just gave like a quick synopsis, ran through everything. Today the only thing I'm going to do is balloons. And I think that the entire video from start to finish will probably take about 15 to 20 minutes. The balloon itself only takes about 5 minutes once you have everything together. Okay? So, um, what I had done is I, w I was in the Silhouette software earlier today. And I was working on templates and stuff like that for the balloons. And I came up with one that I had worked on for the circle balloon which is great it fits perfectly the one that I'm still working on for the heart shaped balloon eh, not so great but um, in time it will be I will work on it over the, the, the next couple of days and have it available on the website as well um, so Basically, what I have done here, let's see here, where am I at, is, I'll show you the finished pictures that I created that I'm going to get ready to print here. So, let me turn my camera around. Alrighty, so this is a picture of my granddaughter. It is going to go on one of the balloons. Now, this is a very horrible cutout picture. Um, I'm just going to print it as it is. All that extra is not going to lay, but I'm doing. I'm also doing like a Mother's Day balloon of my mother and myself. And then, let's see, where was that other picture at? What did I do with it? Um, let's see. There was one more picture that I had prepared for the other side of her. the other side of her balloon ah, this one and the reason why I have class of 2038 is because that is her expected college graduation from a four-year university okay so since I've already saved these um, only thing you do in your design software is design your photo whatever crop it to the right size so like I said my circle ones are coming out great I'm gonna work on the heart shape 
why not just be transparent with you okay so I'm going to do this project with I'm going to do this project with an Epson 2760 it has printer jack no it has regular Epson ink in it. Sorry, regular Epson ink because this is not anything to do with sublimation. Okay? What I have in front of me. These are the sheets that I actually send out when you're ordering for <clears throat> ordering your balloons. We have the circle. And then we have a heart shape. Okay? These are A4 sheets. So it fits in your standard eight and a half by eleven printer, no problem. So since I am starting with the circle, what I'm going to do is take it and let's see if I can show you while I'm getting it into my printer. If not, you know, whoop de doo. You know how paper goes into a printer. Okay, so basically I'm taking the sheet uh oh and putting it in my printer. No harm, no file, right? All right. So, the only thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to tell this that I want to go ahead and print it. And I'll show you so you guys can see my print settings. Oops, let me turn that flash off of there. So you can see my print settings. I have it on my regular, um, it's on my 2760. I have it on portrait mode. Letter size, I'm using premium matte full size paper. There is the picture. I am not um, reversing it because I'm not pressing it against something. I'm printing it directly on. So you would print as you normally would. And so while that one is coming up, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to push... Um, print her next one. Um, get ready to print the other side. <sighs> Which is this one here. So, once it comes out, the printer, we're just going to flip the paper over and we're going to print this side and then we'll do the two hearts. Now, uh, this one isn't the best image of her it's just like a, her mom took a screenshot of her school photo from the wall picture so we're just using that okay and again you can find these on our website you can buy them uh, individual you can buy them in sets of uh, what is it I think it's sets of, I know sets of six I think it's sets of six and sets of four. I'm not really sure, but they are on the website where you can go pick them up. They're great to put in any of your boxes. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Da, da, da. It is printing out. It is a slower printer, so I'll show you it. Coming out. Twenty seven sixty. That's about how much ink I have in here. What I like about <clears throat> this particular printer, although I'm not doing a printer review, um, I just like the fact that I don't have to replace ink all the time. Like I think I replaced the ink once since I've had the printer. And I don't even think I fully replaced it. I just topped it off. And I've had the printer at least a year now. So, But in all fairness, I don't print every day either. Okay. So, see? There goes the first image with the class of 3038. Remember, I was showing you that. Okay, so now the thing I'm going to do is take the same sheet and I'm going to put it back in the printer. But this time with this side, okay? Because this is how I'm making it double-sided. So, ah! Hold on, I'm getting it in there. Trying to do things with one hand is not always easy. Okay, so I got it back in there. And now the only thing I'm going to do is huh, go ahead and print this one. Okay. 
print settings. My print settings are exactly the same. I'm just going to push print and let that come on down. Now, like I said, when I did the heart shape, the heart shape, I need to um, go into Photoshop and stuff like that or um, Affinity Design and really create a, a better template for it than what I have because it's not doing what I would like for it to do. So therefore, I could not make it available to other people and it's working half ass. Sorry. <sighs> so let's see. Like I said, so the only thing I did with this extra one is I made the balloon. I made the, it has about the shape that I want or I've uh, measured out the shape where I want the picture on for the inside of it. I'm just going to run it and see how it comes out. We learn and grow together, right? All right. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It thinks it's not talking to my printer, but it's printing. We shall see. It's telling me that it's printing, but my printer just did something. Hey, Lynn. I'm trying to figure out why my printer just did a boo-boo on me. It's because it's printing one of my um, balloons out. And all of a sudden, it's acting like it don't want to continue to print. See? Kind of waiting for it to come out. That would happen on a live, right? Doesn't happen any other time. Let's see. It's saying it's printing. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know what happened to my printer. It lost. It said it had lost the... It's got half of her picture on there. I don't want to stop it. <sighs> hmm. I may have to. Because it's not. Okay. Well, it did not finish printing her picture, but I'm still going to go ahead and print the other one. I'm not sure, you know, it just stopped like in the middle for some reason and said it had a connection error, but I'm trying to figure out what connection error. But we'll figure it out in just a hot second. Because I'm going to try it again, but I'm going to put the other one in so we can see. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and turn it off. I'm just going to go ahead and restart it really quickly. Because, you know, computers have malfunctions, printers have malfunctions, but this is what it looks like so far. So I'm going to end up having to redo it because this was a crappy one. It didn't print the way that I wanted it to. But that's what I do. I show the good and the bad. It started printing on the other side, see? And then it just went to AG Double Hockey Sticks. Let's see, print job cannot be sent. Let's see, what is my printer telling me that is a problem with? Let me uh, turn it around and see what Epson is talking about because all of a sudden they're saying, is the printer turned on? Yes, my printer is turned on. I don't know what the hell this thing is thinking. But, mm-mm-mm. Unprinted data remains. Do you want to see? Unprinted data will be deleted so that the printer allows you to print. Yes. Because it didn't finish printing the thing. Right. These balloons are like super, super cute. 
Um, right now I have the circles and I have the hearts. I have some stars and stuff like that coming in soon too. It's fixing the problem and then we'll go ahead and print the heart shape. It is actually not a regular paper that you can buy in stores. So we have it available on my site at blankstogo.com. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try it with the other one now. I'm going to hope it works. It should work. Like, I don't know why it just wasn't working a minute ago, but the show must go on. Okay, so I have the other one printing. Or at least it's telling me it's printing. Oh, it's da. Da. Okay, so it's starting to print. Okay, so I guess while that one is printing, and then I get ready to flip it over, I can show you how to put the first one together. Okay? So, this is still the first one. And then you see on the other side. Okay? But like I said, um, I have a video from the other day where I did something. You can see both sides completely done, where it came out like perfect. But I guess because I decided to be a little smarty pants and do it on a live and print it and everything, my printer had to show me that um, everything does not always run smoothly. But that's okay because I'm going to show you guys that as well. Right? All right. So now the only thing I'm going to do to take this out of here is it has like little perforated edges and stuff to it. I'm going to get to the bottom where the little stem area is, and see I stuck my finger, Ooh, well, popped out, I'm a little too far out, but I make, um, start cutting around, um, let's see, I'm trying to show you how I'm getting it loose, but you have to take it from the inside now, so let's see, I'll do it that way so you can see it, it's supposed to be laying down the do it. I'm hoping I didn't pop it nowhere by doing this, but let me turn it that way so you can see the completed side. See the pretty side, right? Who wants to see the errors? But let you guys know that I am human. I do not pretend to be a craft expert. I pretend to learn this stuff as we grow together. Okay, so See that simple how it came out? And that's my grandbaby's name. Her name is Azari. I'm making her a uh, little basket for her graduation. Oh my gosh, you should see the pillowcase. The but I'll be printing that um, like Monday. Because I have some stuff to take care of between now and then. And I don't want to rush because rush jobs create boo-boos. Okay, so let's go to the printer. Let's go to the printer. Because it's printing the first picture out. Get the second one ready. Get the second one ready. Okay. Here's what the second one looks like. That's what the second image is going to look like. Now, I'm doing a Mother's Day balloon for, um, I guess for myself, realistically, because my mom, she passed stop lying my mom was murdered when um i was young um just before mother's day what 1979 so my pictures of her are very limited and so let's see you can get an idea of that's how it came out so far but you see your boy right there he'll be cut out in a minute Sadly, that's the person who murdered her. So, if his family runs across the video, I still have not forgiven you. But, that's something that you'll have to live with. You'll have to live with the trials of your ways. Ah, oh boy. Okay, so now I flipped it over, and I'm just running it in through the other side. 
So hopefully this time it doesn't act up like it did with my granddaughter's picture and it prints the whole thing out so you can see it back and front. And then this would be the first time that I'm actually doing one of the hearts because I didn't do it the other day. I had only done the circle. So, uh, let's see how's it happening. Come on, come on, work for me, work for me. It's working for me. Hey, I'm getting happy now. I'm doing my little happy dance. You know, Cardi B and be talking about the little happy dance. I'm getting my happy dance on. Okay, so, anyways, back to putting this one together. While that one is um, finishing out the print. You think so? You think we look alike? It's funny because I feel like I've had her teeth all of my life. And then as I've gotten to adulthood, I've now have my father's teeth. Because I've never had a tooth pulled in my life. Ever. I don't know what any of that feels like. I almost had a spasm when they did a deep, deep, was sticking me in the mouth with a needle for the deep cleaning. Oh my gosh. If you could have seen how bad my body was trembling. But, um... I need, I have all my wisdom teeth, my molars, I have all of those. And so what's happening is they're starting to push these teeth forward. And I may have to um, see if they can save my teeth so I don't have to have any missing. Or if they cannot have them snatched them puppies out before they um, fall out on their own and get some new ones. But only time will tell. Okay, so what I have done is there was a small tube, okay, because I didn't even show you this. You take this small tube and you're going to open the tip of the balloon area right there, okay? You're just going to stick that in there enough to go to like this. You'll feel like this little extra uh, piece of the balloon right about right there. Just enough so the air can go in. Okay. So now that I have that there, I can still feel the little ridge that's around it. Inside of these, they have the little ridges. So the only thing I'm doing is taking it and matching the ridge up so it'll hold. Okay. Using two fingers. There's no glue or anything like that. Um... There's a multitude of things you can do with these straws because they're colorful, so you can change the color, you can add to them or whatever. So now that I'm holding this, the only thing I'm going to do is take the straw. Uh-oh, looks like I froze. There it goes. I'm back, I'm back. I froze for a second there. But I take it and I just put it through. Just like that, okay? So... Let me get the heart shape one and we'll finish those up together. All right. Heart shape balloon is complete. Ba bow. Ba bow. See so it printed on both sides. Like I said, my template is not perfect, but when I break it out, you'll be like, okay, okay, okay. I could have probably brought myself down to half a smidget because a little bit of my hair is gone, but that's okay. That's okay. Now, I'm trying to get where I can show you, but I, I need to get it started at the same time of popping it out of here. There it goes. Okay. So, perforated edge. Okay. So, you're watching it from the beginning to the end, taking it apart. So, I've made a little pop there, and all I'm doing is tearing, taking it apart. You've done this on something before in life, taking from the perforated edge. Okay, so all we're doing is removing the insert from our carrier sheets. Now, there are discount codes on my website. Yes, they are. And you can use them towards this type of stuff. Uh, okay, so you see, I now have the heart shape taken out.
and the leftover pieces is just like a little leftover like I didn't want him in the picture doll no, wasn't worried he wasn't there like I said my template wasn't the perfect one but I'm gonna fix it it will be for this next one okay so once again taking this little small tubing you see the little ri the ridges on the bottom of the tubing okay opening the bottom of the balloon trying to keep it where you can see me doing that too oh because we are just about wrapping up here if i can get this to cooperate there it goes pa -pa. see that little opening same thing, I slide a little tube in the hole. Okay, slide it in there. I'm comfortable that it's in there. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the groove on both sides. Okay, now I have it on both grooves. What I'm going to do is go ahead and take the straw. Yeah, this is from your regular inkjet printer. So this is a great project for someone who has not started sublimation, does not want to invest in a, a fancy printer yet, or hell, if you don't even have a printer yet, you can take it to like the Kinko's or whatever and put your laminated paper in there and use a printer. Okay, so, got the balloon in there. Well, it's a little crooked, but it's in there. Okay. Now, the next question would be, how do you blow this darn thing up, right? Pretty easy. Voila. Okay. Once again, see, it was at the end of the straw. Voila. See, her face would have been there if it had not have uh, smeared, but we were not going to just throw it away and start again. It show you what came out. Okay? Now, say for instance, the holidays are over. Shucks. Flowers and everything gets to die in. Well, if the balloon starts deflating, the only thing you do is give it another little blow here. And it'll pop that puppy right back up again. But all of a sudden, you know what? The holidays are over and I need to put this stuff up. So what we're going to do is see about taking this bad boy apart. So I just took it apart. Take it apart. Let's see if I can get the air to come back out now. Because I should be able to get the air out somehow. Let's see if we can. Let's see. Something we learn together. And see if we can learn it together and save it. Nope, we cannot get the air back out. Nope, could not get the air back out. But you see it's still held. Even if I wanted to put it on a different type of tubing or strawing, I could. It held. But um, the only thing I would suggest from this point then and then being that, yep, put those back on there again. You can put it on any kind of straw then, it looks like. It would be easy to use. Um, the other thing is, ta -da, uh -uh. I guess if it starts going flat, you just give it another little puff. How about that? Since we can't put it down and put it in the drawer and save it for next year, darn it, we'll blow on it and save it. How about that? We'll keep it, we'll keep it going. We'll keep it fluffy. Just buy some new flowers to stick it in and still celebrate. Stick that back in there again. But yeah. Okay. That's all we have for you. Really simple. Do-it-yourself balloons. Printable. Um, like I said, you can find them on the site at www.blankstogo.com as always, I appreciate you stopping by, checking us out. Um, go ahead and add one of these to your boxes. Until next time, see you soon.